the only positive to um, that that event that occurred the other night that we're in, we're not going to mention it again is that you get the chance to immediately put that behind you and go out and make it right and show that you're on the right path. And for the Bruins, that's what they have tonight. The ability to right the ship as they take on the Buffalo Sabres in Buffalo. It is the Buffalo home opener. Um, and this is actually... Uh, Maybe a bit more of an interesting matchup than a lot of people would give it credit. As Buffalo, they still have Jack Eichel. They tuned up. They got Jeff Skinner. Vladimir Sabotka, who's actually a really good role player. Um, they got brand new, really good defensemen in Rasmus Dahlin. Um, I think they, they have the corner market on NHL players named Rasmus. In Rasmus Dahlin and Rasmus Rustalainen. Um, yeah. But a ton of moves made by the Buffalo Sabres. They're a young, hungry, and talented hockey team. But they have a pretty beatable goalie, if I do say so myself. Um, and Bruce Cassidy tonight didn't really like what he seed, saw in Game 1. Nobody did. Uh, so he made a couple of line changes, including putting Ryan Donato on the second line. Great move, Coach. I would have done it myself. As well as... Uh, Taking Wagner out and putting in Anders Bjork. He starts on the fourth line tonight with uh, Sean Corrali, who drops down to the fourth line as well. Achari eh, moves up to center the third line. Uh, so they, again, all of that talent for Boston looks to beat up on a very beatable goalie in Buffalo. It's game number two on the Bruins. Recap show. So we start things off in the first period. It's Yaroslav Halak, number 41. He takes on against the pride of former UMass Lowell, uh, UMass Lowell goaltender Carter Hutton, um, former of Nashville. Just I think Carter Hutton is goaltendered everywhere in the league at this point. Um, Boston starts off pretty hot a little bit towards the uh, early goings of the first period. It's already a plus because... They're not down by two in two minutes, so that's a good thing. Um, but it's the captain, my captain, my captain, Zidane Ochara, as Brad Marchand will bring it into the zone with a spinorama pass to put uh, right to the big guy, and he delays, 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 and snipe! Blocker side for the big guy, Zidane Ochara. One, nothing, Boston. And we go still in the first period on the power play for the Bruins. Hey, this power play was pretty good last year. Don't let last night fool you. As it's Ryan Donato starting the play. Gives it to Bert, Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron enters the zone over to Marshawn who finds Donato low. And he buries it past Carter Hutton. And it's 2 nothing after 1 for Boston. So we take it to the second period. And the scoring for Boston continues Brad Marchand forces a turnover with some hard, aggressive forechecking. He passes it over to David Krejci, who finds David Pasternak in front of the net. He kicks it to a stick, and he buries it past Carter Hutton. Oh, all those pastas. I've been on a carb-free diet all summer long for this. Mmm, give me that bowl of pasta. Three, nothing for Ruins. But at the end of the second period, a little bit of a shaky moment as a Shot blocked by the skate of Charlie McAvoy. He goes down the tunnel and he doesn't come back for the rest of the second. Uh, good news though is he is back for the third period. Now during the second and third periods, Buffalo really started to get their legs going underneath them. Um, ended up out shooting Boston um, by the end of this game. Uh, but with under about a little bit under three minutes to go, Buffalo will pull Cutter Hutton and that's an empty net. They do eventually go on the power play, a 6-on-4 power play, but it doesn't matter. Brad Marchand with the turnover again. He finds Patrice Bergeron, and he can walk it all the way home. The Bruins knock off the Buffalo Sabres, spoil the home opener, 4 to nothing. your final. Oh, just a great bounce-back game is what this team needed. Granted, it's against the Buffalo Sabres, who are... Um, 
a couple of tears down from the Washington Capitals, who are defending Stanley Cup champions, but a bounce-back game nonetheless, a full 60-minute effort, more or less, from this team. It's what you've been looking for since the season started, which has only been two games, but we'll get on to that. Quickly to the three stars of the game, star number three, my captain, my captain, I salute thee, Zdeno Chara with a goal. Star number two, a shutout, 32 big saves for Yaroslav, starting goalie, Halak, and your number one star, four, count them, not one, not two, not three, four assists for Braddy Marshawn, and that fight with Lars Eller must have put some fire in the belly of Brad, because he was a house of fire for most of this game, basically had his stick on every puck, wow, so Brad Marshawn, number one star, Next up for Boston, they get the Carlson-less and projected very lowly Ottawa Senators. And that's the home opener for Boston on Columbus Day, October 8th. Come and participate in Fan Fest. It starts at 10.30 in the morning on Canal Street. The game is a 1 o'clock matinee. Um, I'll be there. Come and visit. I will uh, probably do some kind of thing. I'll announce it on Twitter, probably maybe during the game. But you can come and see me. I will probably be there a little bit during FanFest as well. Um, so, yeah. Next up, home opener. Boston taking on the Ottawa Senators and the 1-3-1 and all that nonsense. On the next Bruins recap show. By the way, Patriots won as well.